Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this is about the uh, twitch of death that everyone's experiencing and I've been getting a lot of emails lately on this. So um, I really wanted to come down and just check this problem out and what is it. So I started trying to replicate it and I was, I was successful in replicating it and I was also successful in finding the solution. Now let me tell you where the problem is. First of all, make sure your soft mounting is all done, like you've done everything with soft mounting. If, if you've done everything with soft mounting, the problem is still there, then it's electrical noise touching the gyro. So how did I replicate this? What I did is actually I removed the low ESR capacitor that was provided by Maytech, and I dropped my PWM frequency to 16 kHz on my Airbot Wrath ESCs, which makes them very noisy, so it makes them like a crappy ESC basically. Um, so I did that and I set the PID loop and gyro to 8 kilohertz, even 4 kilohertz, I was still having the uh, twitch of death basically. And the this just immediately told me that it's it's electrical noise, so it, it's very easily solvable. And um, let me go into more details in this right now. So for me to fix it, what I did is I reinstalled the capacitor and I set my PWM frequency to 48 kilohertz, which is more than the... Um, uh, default and I was able to run uh, even on default it'll work just fine but do you, when you increase the PWM frequency on the BL Heli 32 ESCs you just make them run a lot smoother with less noise so it's very good now uh, people have emailed me uh, for example the Raystar V2s with noisy motors will have that problem the Spedix HVs with noisy motors will also have that problem and the solution is pretty simple what it is is basically you're gonna have to add a low ESR capacitor to each ESC now, what I recommend doing is adding, well, starting out with a 30, 330 microfarad uh, low ESR capacitor. I'm using 25 volts because I don't use 5S batteries. I just use 4S batteries. So this is, this is just very good. This is plenty enough. This will do the trick just fine. Now, when you do this step, before you actually do this step, I recommend what you do is you drop down uh, your PID loop frequency to 4K, 4K, go fly it without adding the low ESR capacitor just yet, but just having the one provided by Maytech on your flight on your e on your flight controller here. And 4K, 4K solves it. That's not fine. You could fly it, then that's good. But if you wanted more, and when you go to 8K and the twitch is there, then you're gonna have to start adding a low ASR capacitor to each ESC. So th I find 330 microfarad low ASR capacitor from my testing on, on very crappy ESCs to be very good. Uh, 470 is also good, but for some reason this was kind of like a sweet spot on the ESC I've tested and it was very good. So what you would want to do is you want to find basically this is the Panasonic low ESR capacitor and, the, and I find these to be the best and they are the best uh, along with the Rubicons and maybe some others as well, but I know for sure those two companies have the best low ESR capacitors. But I highly recommend Panasonic because I've been using them and they've just been flawless. So um, I recommend going with Panasonic and they're cheap guys, they're not very expensive. For $10 you can buy like a trillion. Um, so what you would want to do is you would want to get this and you have this little negative sign right here. So this would be our negative and whatever we don't have over here this is going to be our positive obviously. And what you're going to want to do is take your negative and there's the negative from the ESC and you want to solder it there. Don't solder it on the flight controller, solder it on your ESC. And um, you would put, solder that there, and then solder the positive on there, and that's how you would do this. And you would do this for all your ESCs. And once that's done, set it to 4K, 4K, your pit and gyro loop frequency, go fly it. It flies good, beautiful, awesome. Drop it back down on the floor, increase your pit loop again, go to 8K, 8K, flew perfect, amazing. And just keep increasing it, and let's just say you hit 16K and the twitch came back. There's no need for 16K gyro and pit loop frequency, at least for me, in my opinion, I don't even, even if I can, and I can actually run 16K, but I don't. I set it on 8K, I'm happy with 8K, and um, I'm flying perfect, no uh, yaw twitch, nothing, so that's very good. So basically what it means, this problem means is you have bad ESCs, or you, you, you have good motors, your motors are noisy, and the ESCs cannot handle that noise, and it's just getting reflected into the gyro, and these guys should fix it. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to set up the worst setup of electrical noise ever that I know of uh, from my testing, which is an Emacs 2205S motor with the Emacs Bullet ESCs, and I'm just going to put the provided low ESR capacitor from Maytech and see if uh, see this, check where the yaw twitch is at, even if, if if it's at 4K 4K or 8K 8K, and then go ahead and add the low ESR capacitor to each ESC 
and then start raising the pid in gyro and see where that gets to so that'll be upcoming i'm probably going to build this today to actually set this up and uh actually debug it now um if for some reason after you installed the 330 microfarad low ESR capacitor you're still having the yaw twitch let's just say on 8k 8k um then you might want to upgrade to 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor but i really don't think that that's necessary at all because from my testing i took basically the worst esc and set one of these on there and it was beautiful so that's very good and um don't think if, if you already have your low ESR capacitor also connected to the flight control and you add these don't remove it keep it it's totally fine it's even better for you it'll probably increase your uh chances of using a higher uh, PID, and, PID loop and gyro loop frequency, so that's very good. So the basic solution is to basically just set a low ESR capacitor, drop your PID and gyro to 4K, 4K, and slowly just start moving up and seeing what's the max you can go to. And I fly mine on uh, 8K, even though I can fly 16K, but I just prefer to keep it on 8K. I can't fly 32K. Maybe if I added low ESR capacitor now to them, uh, I would be able to fly 32K for sure, but... I don't need to, I don't want to, I don't care, uh, 8K is more than enough for me, even 4K is good for me. But this is my opinion, and um, this is why, I, I, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of these very sensitive gyros, these ICM uh, 2068 I believe, maybe I could be wrong, I forgot the number. Um, so yeah, uh, another thing, I have another quad that I just built with the same gyro, and we're going to see if it's also going to have the same problem, and it's this guy here. Now, this guy is running the AirBot uh, Omnibus F4 Pro Corner and running BLH32 ESCs uh, with no capacitors, basically. They provided me with a 2200 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Uh, so this should, in theory, with these motors, uh, possibly generate a lot of noise and we might see the same problems we see on this guy. So this is going to be pretty interesting and uh, we'll figure it out. This gyro is, is very sensitive, guys. Very, very sensitive. It's, it's unbelievably sensitive. And in my opinion, I don't see a real need for it. I don't know why they're doing this. Like, for example, AirBot just released one. It's an F7 flight controller. And it has two gyros. So that's just perfect. It has the MPU 6000 and it has this sensitive one. But for me, when I get that one, I'm just going to set it on 8K, 8K and just going to keep the less sensitive gyro. Because that's all I need. I don't need that 32K. Um, this is my opinion. This is my... Uh, basically this is how I like it but others I'm sure some people love 32k 32k but I'm just I don't really care um, I just want to have a good flying quad with no headaches really that's it and well that's really it that's the solution oh yeah and I need something from you guys anyone with the issue please comment me down below your motor and ESC combinations um, with the issue and anyone with the issue who also fixed it Please comment that down for everyone. I want to build a very big comprehensive list and set it up on my website and share it with everyone so everyone would know how to fix this issue. Because I still truly believe this is a very, very good flight controller. However, I wish they used a less sensitive gyro. It would have just, I don't know, it would have been a lot better. So, overall, um, if you have the issue, you're going to need low ESR capacitor. Uh, or change out your ESCs, but I don't recommend changing out your ESCs because you might have the problem again depending on what ESCs you buy. So, um, yeah, the the problem is mostly due with uh, BL Heli S ESCs, um, and yeah, well, it's electrical noise. So that's it. So just keep me updated. Let me know your motor ESC combinations, the people for it didn't work, and I'm going to be constantly watching these comments and constantly building the list, and I want to see. Um, what is the worst, worst setup of everyone's? And I'm also going to replicate that with the same flight controller. And we're going to see how we can go about solving it. And I'll be doing this as soon as possible and as quick as possible. Even if I have to upload four videos in a day, I will do that. Uh, or even live stream it. I will do that just to keep you guys updated. And I won't make you guys wait. However, these videos won't be edited. Just uh, uploaded right away from my phone after I record them. So you guys can get the most information out as soon as possible. And that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. So I really hope I helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.